Lightroom, Luminar, Google Photos, Apple Photos, or even Aperture. Our photos are often scattered across multiple storage drives, across multiple catalog formats, uh, or sometimes as files. Did you ever dream of a centralized view on all your images? A place where you could run search, where you could explore all your photos? This is why we've developed Picto. These days we take lots of images and we often forget them on hard drives or catalogs or uh, editing apps. Um, and we all have the desire to uh, find those images, to um, get quick access on uh, hidden gems or forgotten memories uh, from a last experience, a last adventure or from a professional project. So at time we wanted to design a revolutionary hub for you a place where you go when you want to search for images, a place from which all your editing apps can be accessed at your fingertips. We are a team of tech passionate about photography and about the Mac. With our new application Picto, our ambition is to help photographers rediscover their photos. So let me introduce you to Picto and present you with two game-changing features that I will demonstrate at the end of this video. Picto lets me gather all my photo content into one app without creating any extra copies. Um, if I look at this sidebar, I can see here uh, my catalog consists in a variety of Luminar AI catalogs, some uh, collections of folders, even an iView Media catalog, an Aperture library, various Apple Photo libraries, Capture One, Lightroom Classic, Luminar Neo. All this content is flowing in the interface. Uh, I can look at one thing in particular, if I look, want to look at the content of this uh, Aperture library, or I can look at everything. I can look at things that are on specific drives. Um, I can navigate the way I want. Uh, again, all these images are here without creating extra copies. We read them directly from their source. Um, Picto also respects the, uh, the structure that was inside the original source, such as, for example, in this Aperture library, I had a, a hierarchy of albums, of folder, etc. They are all available here for me to use them the way I would use them in the original app by creating filters. Uh, same for keywords. I can use those uh, that information to create uh, filters just the way I would do it in the standard app. is the control tower that lets me access all my content um, and make sure that I always have access to the latest version of everything. Um, it also lets me create albums uh, where I can combine content that comes from uh, any any sources um, just by taking an object and here I have an album that consists in uh, a variety of um, of sources here I have luminar I have photos I have uh, files from folders uh, everything combined in a single album. it gives me very detailed information about every image that it has ingested um, such as all the exif information the IPTC fields, if they've been um, filled, um, GPS information, all coming from the original app. So here I have access to a map. Um, I also get access to the keywords that were in my uh, in the catalog, and I can use them as filters. I can also use the uh, face information. So here I can see the keywords and the faces coming right from the Lightroom catalog. Because we wanted Picto to become a hub from, for all our images, it can easily help me to find uh, catalogs by looking, uh, finding them in the finder. Um, it can even launch an existing catalog or even an image uh, if I select this image and select to edit it in Apple Photo, it's going to launch the app directly uh, uh, ready for me to edit in, inside. Uh, same for Lightroom. I can directly launch the, the existing the catalog in which this image lives right from Picto. Launch another one and Lightroom edits uh, instantaneously. Want to launch a photo from another catalog, it's going to ask Lightroom to restart and it's going to open it right in the photo for me to ready to edit. 
You may be worried that Picto modifies your images or your catalog, or even create new copies. Uh, but quite on the contrary, we have designed Picto to be a window on all your images. It is not an editing app with its own proprietary format. It doesn't modify any of your catalogs or your images and doesn't create any new copy, but it gives you a new insight on all your images thanks to two unique features, and I'm going to show them to you right now. Instance are the extension of the concept of versions that can be found in, uh, uh, in many editing apps, except that we extend it to multiple apps. Um, so if I look at this, uh, this image right here, Picto is telling me that there are six versions it knows about. And in the current selection, which is this Lightroom catalog I'm looking at, I'm looking at one of them. If I double click here, I will see uh, the current version the version in the catalog that is currently selected. And I can also see what are the other versions and what they are. Uh, for example, this one is an Apple photo catalog. Uh, this one is in Aperture. This one is a file. These two are in other uh, Apple photo catalogs in which I tried different things. So instants are a way for me to trace back all the edits that happen to, um, to a specific master file. The second feature that sets Picto apart is Panorama. It lets you go from a view like that to this. Panorama is using AI to extract relevant information about your images, such as content, uh, aesthetic score, uh, color harmony, defects, etc. And it will lay out the, um, the exact same images in a grid where uh, it will look at photo styles, it will look at uh, shooting styles, uh, color harmony, it will look at colors in particular if there are some dominant colors, it will look at people, uh, how many people are in those images, um, and it will look at light and uh, colors to extract uh, images that are uh, have a high uh, saturation, high contrast, or have different types of defects that you might want to correct. It will also propose the selection of the best images it has found based on aesthetics and technical scores. To summarize, Picto lets you do a number of things that were impossible before. You can now see all your images from all your catalogs and editing apps inside one interface. You can create albums that combine images from all these sources. You can enjoy unlimited points of view using intelligent content analysis and scoring using Panorama. And you can trace back the path of all your edits on an image using Instance. In the near future, Picto will also let you annotate your images using text, ratings, and keywords. Picto 1.0 is just the beginning. At Syme, we want to serve the community of photographers. With you, we want to explore vibrant topics such as sharing, backup, but also see how we can have a positive impact on protecting our planet as a photographer. Take part in this exciting adventure and share with us what are your wishes regarding the next peak we should reach. With Picto, it's time to enjoy your photos.